One of, one of my observations is, uh, and it's something you talked about, is, is that I think corporations try to hire experience. Mm -hmm. And I think we need to educate them that they need to hire talent and train the skills. Because mm -hmm. what we have to offer is unique. These people have uh, a, unique, a unique set of experiences mm -hmm. and disciplines such as personal accountability, a heightened sense of ethics. You know, they know how to plan, they know how to organize, they get teams of people together, they can get them focused yeah. on an objective. And when we yeah. start talking about those skills, the eyes light up at these <laughs> organizations and they, they, they start to get it, you know, because, man, there's hundreds of thousands of MBAs out there that can't do squat. Yeah, mm -hmm. quite frankly, quite, quite frankly. And I tell you what, uh, Bob, when, when I was sitting across the, the table there from John, um, you know, at, at City, you know, the, the guy is intimidating. Anyone who's, who knows John Tian, <laughs> if you don't know him, look it up. He's, you know, White House fellow, who are infantry type, bus cut <laughs> back in the day. If you see pictures of him with the, I can't remember, the Sunni Alliance or whatever back in Ramadi, you know, fantastic uh, individual and, and awesome leader, but to some people, he can be pretty intimidating. So I remember him vividly asking me in, in the interview, the last person I had to make it over that hurdle to, to get my offer, you know, this competitive setting I was in. And he asked me, so, you know, what makes you so special? <laughs> you know, if you consider it, Julia, you're coming in as a VP. Uh, this is your first go at banking. I mean, what makes you qualified? as opposed to all these other people who grew up on the phones all the way up, you know, they have 10, 20, whatever years in city and they're not a VP. So what gives, you know, what, why you? And I said, John, let me tell you something. I'm tired of being t uh, told no. I'm tired of being, <laughs> <laughs> being told what I can or what I cannot do. Let me tell you something. I told him, and this is what I called my core value proposition. I said, John, I am a general engineer. That's what we all come out of the academy as. It doesn't matter if I studied Arabic or whatever. I'm a general engineer. So I solve problems that you don't even know you have. <laughs> and that's what I told him. And he said, you know what? You're the type of person we need within city to help bring order to this chaos because that's what we do on a daily basis. <laughs> it, you know, and, and I, I love what you just said a while ago, Bob, in terms of hiring for talent. And I think it's our responsibility, back to what Jason was saying, you know, if, if for example, I'll give you an example. Um, let's, uh, let's go with uh, Amazon right now. Amazon has to be the number one employer of, of West Point grads to our program. They've got to be. I mean, the, these people hire scores of, of grads, uh, military across the board, but a lot of West Point grads as well. And we're right now actively working with this cohort of academy grads within Amazon to beyond just the typical military veterans networks and employee resource groups, we need West Point alumni in Amazon to help bring other folks within the organizations. So that's what I challenge other organizations to do and, and other grads, no matter where you end up, let's go ahead and uh, you know just remember <laughs> that there are other people behind you waiting to come in. So that's one of those things. I think it's a great way, uh, in my opinion, Bob, to to kind of and you know liven up the network a little bit you know get our heads out of the weeds a little bit and remember where we came from quite frankly and you know continue to be our buddy's keeper if that makes any sense 